Thanks, man. That was sick. I can't believe your uncle just gave you his old jet ski. Yeah, well, you better make the most of it now, because I'm putting it up for sale. You're joking. You saw that air reverse map, did? All he needed was enough speed to get him there. There are waves out there you wouldn't get near without one of these things. Yeah, well, the way I see it, if you can't paddle out to a wave, you shouldn't be riding it. You believe that? Yeah, I do. Hey, tell me you're not selling this machine. Advent in the paper today. How much? <laughs> More than you've got. Hey, Anna. Has anyone asked you to the school formal yet? What's a formal? Uh, it's a dance. You know, everyone gets dressed up and gets photos taken and stuff. What for? For fun. It's like a party. Edge, are you taking back to the formal? Yeah. See, everyone goes, takes a partner. We don't have anything like this in Germany. So, do you want to go? OK. Great. So, you said people get dressed up. Dressed up as what? Just. You know, formal. Ask the other girls, how they in. Check it out. See the gold strappy shoes? I have to have them. They're gorgeous. Cute, hey. What do you think? I like them. Yeah. All this fuss about a school dance. It's not just a school dance. It's the formal. It's like this major event that only ever happens twice in your school life. And everybody talks about it for ages afterwards, like what you wore, or who they went with. See, it's up to the boys to ask the girls to be their partner. Anna, this would really suit you. Let's have a look. The colour's perfect. Oh, come on. Oh, go on. At least try it on. Come on, Anna. Perry, have you decided who you're going with yet? Uh, no, not yet. Well, knowing you, you've been swamped with offers. Yeah, right. I wish. Look at you, Anna. That is totally cool. Oh, you look amazing. Can't I just wear my board short? No, you can't. This is a special night. Isn't it a bit old fashioned? Oh, Anna, don't be such a killjoy. Yeah, and I did not spend my spare afternoons on the organising committee so that you could turn up in board shorts. What about you, Beck? Are you going with Edge? If he asks me, what makes you think he won't? Um, probably the fact that he hasn't. Yet. I'll get my mum to sell my bike. That's a couple of grand, plus my other board. And Nan said she'd give me a couple of hundred. You still won't have enough. Is Heath in here? Yep. Heath, it's someone about the jet ski? Ah, oh, thanks, yep. Hello? Yes, it is. Oh, uh, yes, and is. I meant to tell you guys, we might need some help setting up the hall tomorrow. Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. The formal, you know, the event I've been organising for the past two months. No worries. Righto. Thanks. So, um, it should be a really good night. Yeah. Hey, maybe I can get my olds to give me an advance on birthday and Christmas. You're right. Edge is just assuming I'll go with him. How do you know? He told Joe, who told me. OK, so... Is that a good thing? No, it's not. I mean, talk about taking someone for granted. Who does he think he is? Maybe he thinks he's your boyfriend. Well, he's never talked to me about it. I mean, for all he knows, someone else could have asked me. Or you could have asked someone else. Exactly. Maybe that's what I should do. Might teach him a lesson. Yeah, but who would I ask? I mean, the only other guy I'd even consider going with is Heath. Unless you're going with him. Has he asked you? No. But you could ask him if you wanted. No. No. You ask him. Are you sure? Because I don't want to do anything to get between you guys. There's nothing to get between. Really. It's cool. Hi. Um, is Bryce there, please? Bryce. Really? I thought he worked Thursdays. Any offers yet? Yeah, Blake's coming to have a look in the morning. Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to go to the formal with me. Because I asked Fly if you were going with her and she said no, so... 
So what do you think? Uh, well, um, aren't you going with Edge? No. Okay, um, yeah, sure. Great. We're going to have to sort out some suits to wear to this formal, you know. What, you volunteering? I suppose. You guys give me your sizes, I'll pick them up. Sweet. So who are you going with? Oh, I thought I was going with Fly, but then Beck asked me. Really? I thought she was going with Edge. Yeah, so did I. Uh, what about you? I was thinking of asking Perry. You and every other guy on the beach. Thanks for your vote of confidence. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, go for it, ask her. But uh, you better hurry up. The trouble with going after what you want is you don't know if you're going to get it. If you don't go for it, you haven't got a chance. But if you do go for it and it doesn't work out, you can end up wishing you never had the dream in the first place. Come on, Perry. <gasps> Perry, you got a serious toasting out there. She's not concentrating. Come on, Perry, level with us. What's going on? Nothing. Look, whoever the man of the moment is, he's not worth stuffing up the comp for. There is no man of the moment. All right. I'll, uh, see you out the back. As you sing. You okay? Everyone thinks I've got all these guys after me. And I haven't. No one's even asked me to the formal. Well, boys sometimes find pretty girls hard to approach. Who says you have to go with someone anyway? Can't you go on your own? No. Why not? Because I just can't. You've got to turn up with someone, even if it's just for the photos. Why? Because you don't want to be looking back over your high school photo album and seeing a loser who couldn't get a date. Yeah, but if you don't care about the guy you're going with, what's the point? He's no more than a handbag. And do you have a new handbag? I've seen it myself. It's green. Perry, what you want to see when you look back on your formal photographs is a confident chick who doesn't need a boy to show her how to have a good time. Fly said you sold the jet ski. How much? Seven and a half grand? I thought you said nine. Advertise it for nine, start up for 7.5. It's called bargaining. Yeah, well, you could have bargained with me instead. Edge didn't have the cash. That's because you didn't give me a chance to get it together. Yeah, what were you going to do? Sell your grandma? What's it to you how I get the money? What difference does it make? No. Right. So what's your problem? There's no problem. I wanted to sell it, I sold it. Blake's picking it up tomorrow. Are you serious? Danny's going with Jess? Me? No, I still haven't decided yet. Perry, you forgot something. <laughs> Thanks. You having trouble making a choice? Sorry? Too many offers to the formal? Yeah, you know. I could help you decide if you like. No, I'm fine. Yeah, give me the list. What for? I'll make it simple for you. I know. See, some things in life you just gotta leave to chance. I used to do this when I was a kid, and I couldn't figure out what to ask Santa for. So, I just cut up my list, put it in a bag, and get him to choose. Matt, seriously. Just hold on a sec. Mitch, give us a half for a sec. You never know your luck. Me. Is that you? Yeah. It's OK with me if it's OK with you. It's OK with me, too. You. Perry's going with you. Well, don't look so surprised. <laughs> Sorry. Congrats, man. Well done. Thanks. Well, maybe you can come with me and Beck. Share a cab or something. I thought Beck was going with Heath. Who says? I'm not really sure. That's just what Perry told me. So, what's this about you going to the formal with Heath? Um, yeah, I am. When were you planning to tell me? I wasn't. Why? Because I thought we'd be going together. Well, if that's what you were planning, you forgot to tell me. Well, what did you want? A, a guilt-edged invitation? No, just a verbal would have done. Edge, you didn't ask her. You can't expect... I didn't think I needed to. Well, girls like to be asked. Okay? Some things you just can't take for granted. What, so you're the expert now? I'm just giving you a tip. What am I supposed to do now? Just leave it. What, and go with no one? 
If you want. No. No way. Hey, Fly. Are you going with anyone to the formal? Well done at wearing. Yeah, you're yeah, more on the job, Edge. But it's massive, man. We're missing I out. heard you and Deb got an invite from the staff. Yeah, well, they probably need a hand keeping you lot in line. <laughs> We're going to the beach for a photo session. You want to come? No, I'll pass. Thanks. See you, Simon. Deb? Wow, you look great. Scrub up all right? Sure do. Well, I've just got to get changed, but maybe we can go in the same car. Save on petrol. Yeah, might as well. 1,200 horsepower. On that swell, you'd be whipping it in. You're obsessed. All right, come on. Closer together. It's our last chance. Jet ski will be gone tomorrow. Well, what about the formal? 20 minutes down a wherry, rip into it for half an hour, be back in time, no worries. All right, come on, smile, you knucklehead. Forget it, Edge. Joe, come on, man. Tough now, you'll be fanging across a six footer. But I'll miss him like the ocean. Where are you going? There's a big swell down at Wherry. What about? We'll be back in plenty of time. We're just going to catch a few beforehand. Not without me, you're not. But I thought he said he sold the jet ski. He has, but the guy's not picking it up till tomorrow. But if he doesn't know we've got he it... He said to make the most of it. Chill out, will ya? Massive edge. Huge. I don't get it. They said the low was going to hit Wary this afternoon. We're heading back. Jet ski's missing. Edge is bored. Fly's bored. Edge was banging on about the swell down at Wherry. Well, no prizes for guessing where they've gone. Well, they wouldn't. Not now. Yeah, Edge would. Great. I've been done for a big swell. I bet this was Edge's idea. Do you think Heath knows they've got the jet ski? Probably not. He's going to spew. Oh, hey, let's not ruin his night, OK? I mean, he doesn't need to know. Anything? No, we must be out of range. We should make it by 6.30, maybe quarter two. What was that? Oh, no. Ah! Good one. Let's go in. I can't believe this. This isn't like Joe. He pays her to say that. Anna, you come in with me and Heath. Whatever happens tonight, guys, we are going to have a good time. 
Definitely. Harry, you coming? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Jamal's coming back here. Come on. I'm walking around this way. The worst thing about getting what you want is that it's not always what you imagined it would be. Tonight, you know, Perry. I mean, all the names in the hat. Matt. I thought maybe you felt sorry for me. Or Matt. I wanted to come with you. Dad. Hey, uh, mate. You got any cuddles? Not tonight, we don't. I'll sort something out tomorrow. Come on, Edge, hurry up! Anna, hi. I'm really sorry I'm late. I, I tried to ring, but... Jari, you look really hot. Oh, my God. I think you should chill out. Owns a joint and everyone in it. Hang on.
That's all they have, and you don't deserve that. You think you can have whatever you want, don't you? No. You think you can take me to the former without even asking? Take Heath's jet ski without his permission? I mean, you expect to be able to go down the coast, catch the perfect wave, come back and have everything be all right. But when it doesn't work out, when things don't go your way, you just destroy the night for everyone else. What? I shouldn't have gone, OK, I stuffed up. But I wasn't trying to ruin anyone's night. For someone who wasn't trying, did a pretty good job. If you want to know the truth, when I found out you were going to the former with someone else, I wasn't all that keen to go. Well, how am I supposed to know if you never tell me how you feel? I mean, you can't expect me to read your mind. I think I made it pretty obvious. So I didn't ask you the way you thought I should. But you knew I wanted to go with you. If you go around expecting everything to be perfect, you're going to end up disappointed. Well, maybe that's just the difference between you and me. So? Yin and Yang. That's supposed to be harmonious, isn't it? I think I might just stick with Yin for a while. Taking property that is not yours is out. And using your fists to settle a dispute is completely unacceptable. Heath, have you heard from the guy that's buying the ski? Yeah, um, he cancelled the check. Right. Edge will make weekly instalments until you can get it fixed and ready for sale. Until further notice, you are grounded from beach and surf. Which is a real pity, because the swell you were all chasing yesterday just reached us. Really? How big? Oh, about five foot. Oh. Here's trouble. Um, these are for you. Yes. I know I said it before, but I'll say it again. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll um see you later then. Maybe Monday after school. Maybe. Come on, Anna, he's trying. I know, but he owes me big time. You're a hard woman. Hard to be cop show. Huh? Hard as steel. Oh. That's what life's like. Sometimes when you have no expectations at all, along comes something better than you could ever have hoped for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>